So in class, we will be learning about courtesy. Courtesy is really important for our civilization. It needs to be focused on. We're going to demonstrate certain aspects of courtesy that have disappeared in our society today and why they must be revived. Good morning, everybody. How are all of my wonderful students today? Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm great simply for one reason, because I'm here with all of you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Craig. Good afternoon. Peter, welcome. I would like students to be respectful of others' opinions. In conversations with other people, make sure you're actively listening and not just waiting for your turn to talk. It's April 20th and our Sapir project is due in a week, so we really need to figure out what we're going to do for that. So do any of you have any ideas? Yeah, well, well, Owen, I think it would be a really cool idea if we um, tried to FaceTime or Skype the uh, San Diego Zoo and kind of have a discussion with them, a little back and forth discussion about that type here and kind of uh, the species as a whole um, and what they've been up to lately. I think that's a really good idea. Thank Does you. anyone have any thoughts about that? Yeah, Mom. I totally get Will's opinion, but um, I think that it's pretty horrible what zoos do to the animals, like keeping them in captivity. So I think we can uh, find a better, better fair idea. Fair point, fair point. That's definitely a fair point. Yeah, well, I, I agree partly with both those opinions, uh, and I respect them, but I kind of fall somewhere in the middle ground. I think zoos can do wonderful things to animals like the tapir who are endangered, but can also uh, be uh, negative overall to other bigger species as well, so definitely fall in both camps. Yeah, that's true. Definitely, for sure. Mm -hmm. So does anyone have maybe a compromise? Yeah, Brooke? Well, it might be a good idea, considering Will, Molly, and Carr's ideas to uh, Skype with the zoo, but we can ask them some of our questions and tell them our concerns about the zoo, and then we can have a discussion about what they're doing to help the tap here. I love it. That sounds good. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. All right, we have our idea. Let's get started. Awesome. All right. Well, I guess if there's one thing that I'd like to see, it's for everyone to eliminate the word what when you don't hear or you misunderstand or you need extra time to process and say, excuse me, or pardon me, or I beg your pardon. That would make me very happy to eliminate uh, that unpleasant word. Okay, everybody, uh, can I get some help, please? Uh, Max, could you please go over and get uh, the roll book, the attendance book over there on the top of the trail? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Um, Carr, could you please get me that stack of papers over there? Yes, sir. And, uh, Will, you've got a big part because you're a strong guy. Could you go over and possibly get me the, uh, the lectern? Excuse me, sir? The, the lectern? That yes, we sir. Put there. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Max. I appreciate it, Carr. Thank you very much. Well, I think saying please is really important. And to do it sincerely, um, not just to go through the motions, but to do it you know, from the heart. That's what's important to me. Yes, I <laughs> Excuse me, sir, may I please get a drink of water? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. So I think one of the greatest things about being at Darien High School is how kind most of our students are to each other and to their faculty members. If there's one place I would like to see greater courtesy, it would be in the cafeteria in terms of cleaning up tables and also including everyone so that no one feels left out down there.
I'd like to see more of us taking care of our campus and cleaning up after ourselves. I'd like to see our uh, students be more respectful of the lunchroom and uh, how they handle the garbage situation as far as on the tables for their fellow students when they're trying to eat. Yeah. Let's get this things students could do to be more courteous is to think carefully before you send an email. It's very easy to uh, send an email in today's day and age, but oftentimes the thing that you're concerned about in the email would be better expressed if you spoke with the person uh, face to face. Hey Alex, what's going on? I'm just writing an email to uh, Henry because he didn't do his part in the group project and let me give him a piece of my mind. Uh, I'll do later today. You know what? Let me give you some advice. Don't put it in writing. Go see him. Because if you put anything in writing, in an email or a note, it's just like publishing it on the front page of the newspaper tomorrow. And you might feel differently about it tomorrow. But he is your buddy. Yeah. Let's Thank go. You. Let's yeah. go see him. Uh, I'll go with you as backup. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much. So just this morning, I needed to rearrange the desks in the classroom, and one student popped up to help me, and the other students sat and just watched. And I was so grateful for the student that helped, and he did it with a smile and without anyone asking. And I just want kids to know that when you help somebody out, when you think of others, it goes a long way and it's really appreciated. So important to be thankful in this world. Today's Teacher Appreciation Day and we appreciate our teachers. So here is Coffee and Donuts because we do not know what we do without them. Thanks a bunch for all they do. Happy Teacher Appreciation Day. Thank you very much and happy Student Appreciation Day because I appreciate you all so much. And Max, I want to thank you very much for that beautiful letter that you wrote to me that You're I found in the mailbox. And I must tell you that I appreciate having been your teacher twice, once uh, at the very beginning and once here at the very end. Just out of elementary school, just going to college, and uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it, so thank, thank you. Thank you, sir, as have I. Every year, students ask teachers to write letters of recommendation to submit in the college application process. We wanted to make sure to write to the teachers who did this for us to express our gratitude. In this scene, we're actually writing thank you letters to some of the special people who've helped us in a very significant way. Thank you, teachers. We really appreciate what you did for us. I would love students to say good morning instead of looking down at their phone, look into my eyes, and just be kind to each other. Uh, they're pretty courteous overall. I would say if there was one request I'd have, it's the cell phones. I put them away, it's just rude. Or I come in, everyone's got you know earbuds hanging out of their ears, so. If that could change, that would be great.
Sean. How's it going? Good to see you. You too, man. How, what are you doing after school today? Uh oh. Sorry about that, my phone. It's okay. Uh, I got a basketball game tonight at 7. Uh, and yourself, do you have a game as well? I do, and I'm also going to watch a soccer game after Sweet. school. Awesome. Who's playing? Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. Cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, so I think it's the golden rule that you want to treat others the way you want to be treated. So you should greet people with a smile, you should be polite, keep the door open for them, um, and just generally be a pleasant person. Bro, I think we need more gratitude, more thank yous, more can I hold the door for you, that kind of thing. More. A friendliness. Class, but I noticed a student out here having a bad day. Do you know who it is? I don't know him at all, but he really seems like he could use some help. Might be a freshman? Let's go. Um, Alex, can I... Yes, sir. Excuse us a minute, guys. Be great. Courtesy and good manners never go out of style. It is always special to me when somebody says hello to me in the hallway, especially somebody I don't know, just to brighten my day. I think it's wonderful to just pass somebody in the hall and say good morning. Oh yeah, I know, right? That was pretty cool. That was really cool, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? So I think I would love to see students and faculty at DHS um, do the little things, even just saying hi to somebody in a hallway, um, giving someone a smile. I think we forget how big those little things can be. And I think looking for opportunities to reach out to people who may be sitting alone or may seem to be a little bit disconnected, um, just looking for people who might need um, a good friend or a connection and being willing to step outside of our own circles and be a friend to those people, I think that would make a big difference here. What I'd like to see is to have uh, students and teachers make eye contact with each other more in the halls and also in the classroom. I'd like to introduce you to my friend Will. Sound Will. Hi, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, Will. How are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm very good as well, yes, thank you. Yes, sir. Um, when you go through the door, hold the door for the people behind you instead of just holding it for yourself. Is this conference that's going to take place in Winchester, Virginia? Excuse me. It's okay. This conference is. I'd like to see the students talk in a more positive manner towards each other and as they're talking about the faculty in general. I hope that people, when they see people, even if they don't know them in the hallway, look up, say hello, um, and, and give them a friendly smile. To be more respectful, I think students should hold the doors for others, not only teachers, but their peers, and use proper language <laughs> when speaking to each other and be kind every day to each other. One thing I'd like to see for students to be a little more polite and courteous is to clean up in the cafeteria. It drives me nuts when people get up and leave their table and they just leave garbage behind as if it's somebody else's job and responsibility for taking care of them. The simple things are the best part of courtesy. Saying hello, saying good morning, you need some help, can I do something for you? Those little things are nice. That's, to me, that's, very, that's, that's being courteous. You know, and, and that's it. You know, if somebody, if you see somebody having a bad day, hey, you need some help or something. All those little things just add up. Um, everyone is extremely polite and courteous in the hallway. Everyone says hello to each other. They ask how you're doing. Um, they say please and thank you when asking questions or leaving class. They always say thank you. Um, and then everybody structures their emails to adults really well. Greetings and full body paragraph and then a closing. So I think everybody here does a really great job. Yes, thank you, Miss Danny. You're welcome.
probably some Thank great you. ideas Thanks, today. Thank you. We should take everything that we've learned in this video and apply it to the real world. If we do that, we can change the world for the better. Go get them, DHS. Make others want to be